I'm, I'm asking my evil brothers and sisters to calm down. Stop insulting people unnecessarily. Stop using mob attack and lynch attack on others just by thinking that they are stopping you from being president. Peter and his campaign team, including me and others, and you that are supporting him, have to do a lot. You have to do a lot to convince others to trust his constituency candidacy that is a national project. Nobody is against Igbos. I am tired of this. I'm being honest. Most of the time, when I read this, and even people who are educated, who should know better, I have you asked any of them, the Yorubas, how do they hate you? In case you don't know, when Jankara Market was demolished by Jakande government in the early 80s, that man gave the Igbos a parcel of virgin land on owners of fire. And what Jaconde said is that if you people are going to clear this forest and build it, take it for life. He didn't take Tenkobo from them. And that is Ojalaba International Market. I have been a, a businessman at Ojalaba International Market. They gave it to Ojalaba Market is generating annually more than almost a trillion naira. From Ojo, if you know Ojo very, very well, from Volkswagen down to Ajangbadi, is giving generation of Igbos plenty money in dollars, in pounds, in euro, given to us by a citizen of Lagos called Latif Jaconde. May God bless his soul. When we go now under the bridge, what we call trade fair market, where they have trade fair, there are 14 Igbo businesses that are in that trade fair. 14 business union. The one we call Balogu, or the people that are into beauty products, I was the person that dedicated it the day it was dedicated. It was a idea. Yorubas give us land. Anytime we want land, they give it to us. Most of the economy and development we are seeing in Igbo land are coming from diaspora. Most of this money came from Lagos. There has never been a time there is a riot in Lagos and Yoruba has begun to burn the property of Igbos. Tell me when it happened. They can burn their own, but they can preserve our own. During the Civil War, every tribe that is so near to Igbos, including the Ikwere in Port Harcourt, sees our properties. They call it abandoned property. Our next door neighbors, people that even speak the same Igbo with us, who so you know be Igbo, they change everything and seize the property still today. Tell me one single property of Igbo that was seized by the Yorubas after the war. We went back and reclaimed our properties. They kept it for us. In fact, uh, one of Emeka Anyoku said that a man, a Yoruba man that his neighbor, when he ran away and his family, he kept their property and was collecting rent for him throughout the Civil War three years. And when he came back, he handed over to him. Even a Meko Juku that led the war, the 13 properties his father had in a, a place called Ikoi in Lagos were all handed over back to him. What is all this madness? It is high time we cool down. Nobody hates you. Nobody wants to stop you. Politics is about campaign and, and superiority. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right to vie for presidency. Kwan Kwan so have the right to vie for presidency. Atiku have the right to vie for presidency. None of these people is representing a tribe. If you feel that Peter program and plans are better, market him very well. But all these things that the Yorubas are against us, they want to stop us from being the president, is a fallacy. I don't believe it. Market your own candidate in peace. Stop all these things that because there will be life after 2023. And most of the time we might be even be endangering the lives and property of our brethren who are living here by our utterances, by our writing, and by our action. So is it not high time somebody will now begin to say enough is enough?